Hey everybody, this is Dutch with the Mystic Mountain Homestead, and today we're going to be discussing the Blue Eddy and how to connect your B300 battery pack correctly and get them communicating with each other so that way it can start taking solar input. Alright, let's get into it, y'all. First thing I like to do is make sure that you have the power supply and everything on on your Blue Eddy. Either it's solar or DC, make sure your Blue Eddy has some kind of charge on it. That's step one. Step two, I like to, I'll take the cables and I connect it. You just insert it into the side here, into the first port if you only have one. You know, make sure it can, snaps and then you slide this forward. On the blue 300 over here, or B300, has a blue 300. <laughs> Okay, on this B300, what I do is I take this same ca cable, I think it's called a DO3 cable, something like that, and then I plug that in here and slide that on up and make sure it's all snapped in and everything. And in order for them to communicate properly though, there's a trick to it. You have to make sure that this is on. So if you have no charge to it at all, it will not communicate with the AC max 200 and begin to take solar input so if you do not have a charge on your B300 I suggest I'm um, using your little AC wall adapter that came with the Blue Eddy AC max 200 and I'm giving this a charge your B300 a charge up to at least at least 10% so that way you can power it on and then refollow these steps with connecting it, connect the cables and everything. And then you be, should be able to come over here at that point to your home screen panel and see the actual battery state is at 10%. Right now they say discharging because I have low sol solar, as you can see, because it's three o'clock in the afternoon here and I have a thousand watts coming out. And yes, my AC has been running 24 seven and it usually gets down to about I've seen it 54% early in the morning, but by the by the time it's down to 54%, it's already getting solar input again, so it's raising back up. And by noon, they're all 100% charged again. Sorry, I'm sitting there waving my hand and everything. I, I talk with my hand sometimes. But, anyways, so it should say down here, charging, 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 when you have a higher solar input. So that's a good way to tell if your B300 is communicating with your AC Max 200. Once again, make sure that it has at least 10% charge on the B300 before you try connecting them up. And make sure that it is powered on. You have to power the, not the, not the actual little gray switch that powers it on. Where's it at over here? There's a little switch. But this big green button, the actual power on button itself. You push that powered on, you'll see it come up green like this. And these lights will, are all full because it's basically 100% right now. It's, and so, it should start on yours when you charge it up, when it's the first time at 10%. What it will do, it will start blinking. That's a good indicator that it's, uh, I'm communicating with the Blue Eddy and taking solar input. When it's sitting here going like this, the line's going across. It's like... That means it's taking solar input charging. And so you can tell by that. And then also, like I said, on the screen over here, it'll say, on the state of charge, it'll say charging, discharging, or I think there's another one it says too. What is it? Uh, not discharge, it's got charge, discharge, and then standby, it's also a standby. I've seen them, I've seen the middle one say standby before, and the other two say discharge, or I've seen the first one say standby, and the other ones are still charging. This will be at 100%. And these will still be charging at the full max input. It does not do the throttling down until all of them have reached the 99.9%. Once they, if they're all 99.9%, then I've seen it do the throttling. I've only seen it do that once though so far. Um, that's the video for this weekend, y'all. Hope you all like. Please share, subscribe, and smash the thumbs up button. Um, it really truly helps our channel grow when you guys um, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. It only takes a second to do and I'd greatly appreciate it. If you truly enjoy our videos, um, please feel free to share them on whatever social media platform you are on like Instagram, 
Facebook, you know, share it with your friends. Help them get educated as well. All right, till next time, y'all. Have a good one.